Kenya coordination. Many thanks for joining us. Um, just how hopeful are you that your candidate is winning the Saturday general election? Well, um, you see, the, we are very confident now. And uh, we have always been confident. Confidence, confidence. We we are hundred percent confident that we are going to win this election because size of party matters, spread of party matters, depth you know and coverage of party matters, campaign matters, achievement of government matters, quality and integrity of candidate matters. On all these things, we are at a we are we are at a, at, a, at a huge advantage. You know, and we are also campaigning very well, and people have, you see, keyed into our campaign messages. We, President Muhammad Buhari, you know, gave us rules of engagement that we should go out and persuade Nigerians, be polite to Nigerians, respect Nigerians. This time around, President Muhammad Buhari said, vote must count. Exactly. And because the voter is the godfather. Vote, voter, yes. Is your party going to engage in vote buying? We, we are, look, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, all of you must hear. He said he's going to fight corruption. Vote buying is corruption. Rigging is corruption. Vote snatching is corruption. We are not going to do all that. We are just appealing to Nigerians to see the achievement, to see the fatherly quality of President Muhammad Buhari, to see the effort of President Muhammad Buhari in bringing about peace, in bringing about you know, economic development. The National Body of Statistics said that Nigeria in the last quarter of 2018 recorded 2.3 growth. Even the IMF said 1.9. But it shows that President Mohamed Buhari's economy policy is taking Nigeria to another level. Finally, how voter on Saturday? You see, Nigerians already they have been shown by President Mohamed Buhari's you know, policy that there is peace and security everywhere. That is why, under President Muhammad Buhari, INEC successfully carried out 195 elections successfully, off season elections. And because of Nigeria's confidence in the leadership of Muhammad, President Muhammad Buhari, more Nigerians came out to register. The number of registered voters increased from 68.5 million in 2014 to 84 million today. And all, more and more Nigerians have collected their cards, which shows that Nigerians have confidence uh, in voting. Nigerians now believe that their votes count. Nobody will go and fight. Nobody will go and kill in, in our party. We don't have militia. We don't have political tax. We don't have killer guns. We don't kill. We don't persecute. We don't do anything. We don't commit any illegality because all illegality is corruption. Finally, what is your strategy for winning on Saturday? Our strategy is this. You see, we have already got excited, energized, you know, campaign hard for people to come out and vote. We, we are sure that many people will come out and stand for President Muhammad Buhari. Our uh, strength and belief is in the, in the belief in Nigerians. Nigerians, we know. They are all responsible people. If they know a government is working for them, they know. If, they, if a government is not working for them, they know. Today, 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 Nigerians know that there is no fuel shortage, no kerosene shortage, no gas shortage, no fertilizer shortage. Now, every Nigerian is receiving salary. Every Nigerian is receiving his pension. Now, there is improvement in life. There is improvement in road. There is improvement in rail. There is improvement in farmer money, market money. Trader money, ample borrowers, right same sufficiency. I can count 100, you know, achievements of President Muhammad Buhari. Architect Vice Chief many thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. I become happy and proud to be here. Going to witness this Saturday. This Saturday, Insha Allah, we are going to we are moving to the next level. As already there so there's no need for fighting victories are started already victory has started prepared our young people the saturday will be for a progressive future for the youth in the sense that baba has made a plan for we youth in the next future so all we need is to believe in him and trust him so that we we'll move us to the next level Republic 
Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, is okay. GC Elfar, the Honorable Minister for FCT, and all other members of the Federal Executive Council here present. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, all the Senators, members of the National Assembly here present, all our National Working Committee members, the Director General, Presidential Campaign Council, ably represented, all our party faithful, the State Party Chairman of FCT, my brothers and sisters, party faithfuls, all the youth of Nigeria, the greatest youth of the greatest youth of the greatest youth. I want to talk. I want to hear. I want to sorrow. I want to pity. I want to baba. On Saturday, by the grace of God, we are going to be We are going to papa. We are going to win. Your Excellency, out of much, all the country men and women, our party faithful and those from other parties, including the man that is contesting in the other political platform of the PDP. On this particular arena, I did mention something the other time and I asked a simple question. And that same question I'm going to ask today. And we simply have the answer. And once we have the answer, we don't need to panic. All we need to do is to simply go and do the needful on Saturday. And the question goes this way. It's clear. That there are two banks in Nigeria. Yeah. Only two banks. Yeah. 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 President yeah. Muhammad Buhari Bank and Atiku Bank. Yeah. And I did ask questions. Yeah. If you are a banker or you are a businessman, yeah. even people from PDP, yeah. where will you bank? Yeah. Buhari Bank or Atiku yeah. Bank? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. People the they know that they will take their money to Buhari Bank. No, 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 no. We know that very well. Yeah, okay. President Muhammad Buhari, Almighty Allah brought you for us. You are here performing. From the very first day you were born, you will be sacrificing for this country. You sacrifice so much for the unity of this country. You serve the country in the day of capacity. And you are still serving this country in this particular capacity. And as God will have you, they don't they will take your life. God said no. God said no because of young ones like us. Because of the telecowers. Because of the future of this country. Even though our international community friends and friends, they know. That is why today you are the leader of Africa. The whole African country has come to you to lead the crusade against corruption. And by the grace of God, when you come back in the second time, even America will invite you to come and fight corruption in their land. Britain will call you to come and fight corruption in their land. The European communities will call you to come and fight corruption in their land. You are shown that you are the greatest general. So the subject of this earth today, we know exactly what will be happening in security. The rest is history, and I know you are going to do more. You have shown that you are the greatest economist today. You took this country from recession under one year. Today, we are making a lot of progress. You have shown that you are the greatest farmer. Today, we have a lot of multi millionaire farmers. Infrastructure we are doing it. What else do we need again from you? You have said that you want to sacrifice for us. And we continue to sacrifice. And we are the ones that need you. You don't need us. Because of that, Your Excellency, please, just get ready. ready. By this time on Sunday, we are already celebrating, inshallah.
Because you remain his own role model. And his name is Ahmed Buhari, presidential candidate of Sustainable National Party. Along the line, during the course of the chairman's speech, he will, on his own, make his views known to you. ABC! ABC! Meslebu! Nigeria! A real privilege to present another upcoming presidential candidate who has seen the light of the light. Now he has become, in the presence of Mr. President, the youngest presidential candidate is here with us to give us, to come with us, to give us synergy so that we will just like the voice of victory together. And we cannot take chances based on the based on the APC manifesto, based on the policy documents that look more like ours. We have decided to pitch our tent with the All Progressive Congress, the APC, and step down today and support President Muhammad Buhari for the 2019 presidential election. It's now time to respectfully invite Mr. Integrity himself.
where the president has just addressed the crowd, where he told them of his commitment to continue to fight corruption and provide security and also create jobs by growing the economy. And the crowd is not as old as but it's also one that has a large turnout of young people who a lot of people say they are jobless. This election will be a verdict for Nigerians. From the Eagle Square, Abuja, Medina Azaki.